Hi! Like I said in my previous video, I would like to share with you some books that I would like to read before 2018 ends. Uh, technically, I, I have nine books, but um, it's kind of seven things I want to talk about. So let's start with the first one that's been on my TBR for the longest. It's been almost two years. And that's uh, Brother Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I bought this secondhand because it was a gorgeous edition and uh, actually this is only first volume and I've been trying to buy the second one for quite some time and I couldn't find it uh, and actually before film filming this video I found out that actually Dostoevsky they didn't finish it because he was planning on writing three volumes I think but he died before uh, he could do that and now I'm not sure if I want to actually read it because I don't like reading books that I technically not finished. This is the reason I don't want to read Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell because she passed away, I think... she just had like one chapter or two to write but she passed away before she could write it and I just... I don't like reading unfinished stories because if I passed away before finishing my story I wouldn't want people to read it. I know that's kind of weird to say but yeah. Uh, I'm, so I'm thinking about unhauling this, but it's a gorgeous edition uh, and I've heard nothing but great things about Brother Karamazov. I think it's about three brothers who kill their father. And also I've read uh, Crime and Punishment before in school, which I absolutely loved. I really liked uh, Dostoevsky's writing style. So if you have any recommendations when it comes to Dostoevsky, that would be much appreciated. The next book is Rebecca by Daphne de Maurier. I bought this over a year ago and I couldn't read it last autumn. So I decided to read it this year um, during like Halloween months, like November, October, something like that. But recently I can actually heard that this doesn't necessarily have to be read during the autumn. I don't remember who said it, but I remember they said that this is a great kind of beach read because the sea in this novel has quite a big role. Uh, so actually I could read it during the summer too. So hopefully I will get to this maybe in August. The next book that I would write, like to read uh, during the Halloween months is The Dumb House by... Oh, I don't know his name. Burnside? Um, I've heard some good things about this, but uh, then I later, after buying this, I found out that this is actually quite a terrifying story. This is about some kind of guy that does experiments on animals and ch children. So that sounds quite gory and scary, so uh, I'm kind of apprehensive to read this, but... Uh, yeah, maybe around Halloween. The next book is Oranges and Are Not the Only Fruit by Janet Winterson. Uh, from what I've heard, this is quite uh, a semi-autobiographical story. So this is loosely based on Janet Winterson's life. I only remember that uh, this is a story about a girl who was brought up by nuns in a church and later in life she, I think she runs away when she's around 16 or something like that. Yeah, I know Janet Winterson is a lesbian and those themes are very much present in the book. The next two books I would like to mention together. The first one is another book by Janet Winterson, which is The Gap of Time. Uh, this is from the series about uh, Shakespeare. I'm not sure if this is a retelling, but this is based on Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale which I haven't read, so first I need to read The Winter's Tale, then this one, and then after reading this one I would like to get to If We Weren't Villains by Emma Rio. Uh, this is... Uh, a lot of people say this is a ripoff of The Secret History by Donna Tartt, uh, but I've heard some people saying this is uh, also really good. So, some people actually like this better than The Secret History, from what I remember, uh, it's about students uh, that do Shakespeare plays. Uh, so I would like to first kind of... I know some Shakespeare plays, but I'm not that well read in Shakespeare. So yeah, first I would like to read Winter Cell, then this. Also this book has such pretty end papers. Like, how gorgeous is that? <sighs> yeah, so yeah, hopefully I will read those three things before the end of the year. And the last thing is... <laughs> actually three books, uh, that's the last three books of Harry Potter. I'm planning on reading Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix in July, 
but like I said in my other video, I'm really taking my time with those books, so uh, if I don't finish these by the end of the year, it's not, you know, a tragedy. But I think it's pretty doable if I'm reading this in July and I kind of give myself like a month or two months in between the books. So I feel like I can still finish all three of these before the year ends. So yeah, that's everything I have for you today. I am actually, when you're seeing this, I'm actually in uh, Sicily on my vacation. It actually might be my birthday. No, actually no, I'm going to post this before my birthday. But yeah, hopefully I'm having a great time. Uh, I hope you're having a great time reading and enjoying your life and see you in the next video. Bye!